Hello, it's Mr. Thompson from Personal Achievement Martial Arts, and today I have your weekly message. So this week's message is responsibility, one of my favorites. All right, responsibility is key to everybody at home and at work and at school, wherever you are, right? We all have responsibilities. Now, as we grow up, you know, we start off as kids, and, uh, and kids, right now, you have some responsibilities. I hate to break it to you, but you're going to get more. You're going to get more. And you're going to keep getting more responsibilities in life, things that you're in charge of, things that you need to get done in your life. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, it, it, it doesn't normally get easier, okay? But what it does allow is it does give you more opportunities, all right? Responsibility always gives opportunity, all right? So a lot of times parents, right, that if your kids are asking about wanting to have a pet at home, right? Kids, you want to have a pet. What do you do? You say, Mommy, I want to have a pet. And they say, okay, here you go. Here's a pet. And then that's it, right? Happy, happy days. And no, there's a lot of work with that, right? If you've got a dog at home, there's so much you got to do, right? You got to make sure that you're one, playing with them. They get enough attention too. They need some food. They need some water. They need to go outside. They need exercise. They need all these different things that you need to provide for them. And a lot of times mom and dad say, you can have one. But you got to show me that you're responsible enough to take care of one. And to do that, you got to do the normal things that you already know how to do. You got to do your chores. You got to like, you know, make your bed, go to school and everything, all that homework, whatever it is, show that you're responsible. And the more responsibility that you show, the more opportunity you're going to get in that opportunity would be like, you know, I'm getting a dog. All right. Awesome. Really cool. That is a fantastic opportunity, but it also comes with responsibility and you need to show that you have that responsibility to take care of the dog. All right. Same thing in martial arts, right? You get started off as white belt. We don't just hand in your weapons and your sparring gear and be like, all right, you guys want to fight and you want to learn how to do weapons? Here you go. All right. You got to show us that you're responsible enough that one, you have control over yourself. Two, that you practice at home, right? That you actually are diligent. You go home, you practice what you learn in class, right? If you're at home right now, awesome. You're practicing with me, all right? And uh, if you guys do those things and demonstrate your skills and that you are responsible and you're on top of your things, then that's when we start allowing you to do those weapons and we start allowing you to do the sparring as well. And you got to take care of your gear, right? Mom and dad aren't in charge of your weapons or even your belt, right? You are. You guys are responsible for that, but it allows you to do really cool things, right? You get to learn how to do weapons. You get to learn how to fight. You get to learn how to do all these different things because you show you're responsible. So I want you guys thinking about what responsibilities you have at home and what opportunities you could get from taking on more responsibilities. So look for those opportunities and see if you can handle that responsibility. And I promise if you do, you'll, you'll enjoy it. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you later. Bye.